Hey YouTube, back again with another video. And today we are going to be pushing autopilot lane changes to the limit. We're also gonna go over in detail what the car is seeing during a lane change. So first, let's go back to October 2017 when I posted this video. And as you can see, I'm in autopilot and I just manually put on the turn signal to change lanes. Now at the time, you had to be on a large interstate in order for autopilot to change lanes. This video goes on for about 45 seconds and the car never makes the lane change. Now let's fast forward to a video that I just posted a couple weeks ago and you can see how advanced this lane change feature has become. The car is gonna notify you when it's clear and you get a better representation of what's in the lane that you're gonna go into and it takes the lane change with ease. This lane change also went through a couple iterations where it was very jerky, if you guys are Tesla owners, you definitely remember that where the car would actually jerk over into the lane and it was not a smooth lane change at all. So now I wanna test this autopilot lane change feature and kind of push it to the limit. So as you can see here, I'm on a two lane road in autopilot and I'm gonna actually do a lane change into a turning lane. So I slow the car down because the car is in front of me and I turn on the turn signal. And once the lane is identified, you can see the car gets over into the turn lane. Okay, let's slow that lane change down so I can point out a couple things. As soon as my turn signal turns on, the car is gonna start searching for another lane. And right here, you can see the lane is actually gonna to start to form in a gray line. Now that the car has identified the lane it wants to go into, one of the solid blue lines turns into a dash line indicating an upcoming lane change towards the dash line. So there's no other cars in that lane, so the car is gonna initiate the lane change and move over. Couple things to keep in mind. This was a lane change initiated by me, the driver, and this is not an automatic lane change like you've seen with the new Navigate on Autopilot. If you have Autopilot hardware 2.5 or above, you will not have to turn your turn signal off, and once a lane change is completed, the turn signal will automatically turn off. If you have Autopilot 2.0, you will have to disengage the turn signal manually. After a lane change like this is initiated, be prepared to take over. Current autopilot software isn't capable of making turns at an intersection. Earlier I stated that autopilot's gonna make the lane change when the lane is clear. But how does a car know that it's clear? Let me show you a good example. So here in the rain, I turn on the right turn signal and you can see that the car next to me is illuminated in red meaning that the car is not going to take a lane change. Here's a close up. See here that I have the right turn signal on and the right autopilot solid blue line actually turns into a dash line like we saw before, but this time it's red and you can see the car in red as well, indicating that's the issue and why it will not take the lane change. The car is smart enough to know that it has to wait until that car clears its path before it initiates the lane change. So now that the car is no longer red, it will actually take the change now that the car is not in its path. Having lived with the Tesla for several years, it really is incredible to see this autopilot software develop as quickly as it has. If you're interested in buying a Tesla, now is a great time. You can purchase a Tesla and get 5,000 miles of free supercharging. Also applies if you plan on leasing a Tesla. So click the link down in the description and get your 5,000 miles. This offer will revert back to 1,000 miles on May 28th. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.